What you're watching is a new form of television. It's called public access television. Public access is a venue that's provided on the cable channel exclusively as a way for folks to create television, to do what they want, to say what they want. Gay is not sin, and Jesus isn't asking the gay person to change and be straight. Ha ha, this is Hip Hop 101. You know how we doing it, man. For the record, I'm Spud Goodman. This is my show. It's always been my show and always will be my show. Before there was Facebook, before social media of any kind, there was public access. And public access was not just like those things, it's all there was. People really want to see the real thing. And all this stuff was real. It's your chance at showbiz! Channel 29! Here we go. Whoa! Whoa. Shit! Whoa. All right, now there's live TV. <laughs> so I watched the commercials, and it said just come down, and then we'll give you a weekly time spot. I'm Chuck D from Public Enemy. My name is Matt Lamar. Peace to Georgia on the Cool Out Network. <laughs> Any of us now can put our own personal point of view on YouTube, Facebook, although they'll pull stuff that you would otherwise have seen on public access. So is that free speech totally? No. There's this agenda in mainstream media to keep us stupid and apathetic. That's why I love public access. I think the concept of free speech is very, very wide. I'm sure the Founding Fathers couldn't imagine some of the things that we defend under free speech today. Jews and Samoans rule the world. Jews. I started in public access. I'm not ashamed of it because I know a lot of people. Louis C.K. started in public access. It's time for WTF. When I was in high school, I got an internship at a local access cable TV station, and they had camera setups. Yeah. And they had editing bays, and I would shoot my own little videos. So that's what always gave me the license to do this stuff. I do think Between Two Ferns was influenced by a bad public access channel. Oh, jeez. Speedstead, deodorant for your beodorant. Public access in the 90s was pretty amazing here in Seattle. I love this show, The Face of the Nation. Well, thank you very much. Won't you please welcome Dan Savage. Dan. Welcome Bill Nye. I was trying to describe to people what public access was like, and you'd be flipping through the channels, and then like, oh my god, what is this? And I think what it did was it just woke people up just to realize how weird TV could be. Welcome back to Blink Fiction. I think that we started the show because, well, there was nothing like it on TV. There no. was no logo television. There was no Will and Grace. There was no RuPaul on TV. Ellen DeGeneres. I'm gay. So we were it. Okay, everyone remember, Serpentine. I remember seeing somebody that I thought was some sort of revolutionary. Hey, Lisa, we're seizing the studio in the name of Political Playhouse so we can run hours upon hours. And then I remember seeing naked people. I remember thinking, that's absolute filth. Turn it up. <laughs> My name is Mike Hunt. This is a Mike Hunt production. I wanted to just make something that would make people smile. And then there was always a couple of girls to help put on a good show. What happens with the mass media is that periodically they write the same story about public access, which is that somebody was naked or there was pornography, and then people respond and then they want to restrict public access. To me, pro-public access means that you truly believe in free speech and freedom of expression. And if you really believe that, then you would support public access because it's the last bastion of free expression. To me, art and politics is all about an individual having a voice. So public access gave people a voice who never ever would have had one. Wow, and that's beautiful. It made Seattle a better place. It was what it was intended to be, which was here's the community because it was people from every part of the community, and here it is. And they're a bunch of freaks, but they're our freaks, you know? Wow.